If you think that the type of fitting that we're living in today are unmatched or the worst ever uh, state that the Ummah ever been, I think you need to take torch bearers with me and to listen to the life of Mutarrif ibn Abdullah ibn Shaqir. He's the son of a companion. And he have witnessed one of the worst, in my opinion, era and the hardest fitna that this Ummah ever dealt with. And I don't think there is any other fitna uh, will be as bad as this fitna except maybe a Dajjal in the end of the days. That's in my opinion. I think if you come and take the course, you, you might or read about that era or the period of time, you might come to the same conclusion. And one of the wisdom that al ulama said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the worst and the strongest fitna happen during the time of the Sahaba because they are the only one who will be able to handle it. If it's someone else have less iman, have less taqwa, have less yaqeen, have less understanding and knowledge, this fitna could have maybe broke them. And if that happened, Islam would have lost. But even with this great fitna, they maintained their strength. They did not let affect every aspect of their life. And one of the people who stand out during that uh, period of time was Mutarrif ibn Abdullah ibn al-Shikhir. How he managed to save himself being, uh, being sucked by all these trials and, 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 and fit and during his time and to maintain balance in, in a very cloudy, very uh, 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 disturbing uh, time where, where civil war is happening, where uh, new ideas are uh, developed. Some of them are acceptable, some of them are unacceptable. When people call for jihad and they are not uh, really uh, uh, representing that uh, meaning. When uh, a true jihad is needed and, and fight needed. When Amr al-Ma'ruf and al munkar became a tool that people used to justify their actions or to gain their, to gain power. Uh, this is a great lesson, not only uh, uh, happen in the past, but we have great need for it today. Mutarraf ibn Abdullah ibn Shikhir, a person who used common sense when people uh, uh, don't have them, when they don't have that common sense. He used uh, his taqwa. He used his relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He used iman and faith to save him from being uh, astray or to deviate it from the path of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And that's in itself a great lesson that I think we need to focus on, reflect upon, and see how can apply to the fitting of our days as well. Looking forward to uh, see you in Torshbearers and talk about Mutarrif ibn Abdullah ibn Shikhir, that uh, person who used to be very balanced in his views uh, uh, and in his uh, understanding of the religion. See you soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.